Hey floss tube. A um, little bit different today. We are going to pick my mania starts or a few of them, maybe most of them. Um, if you watched my last video, you saw that my basement, um, the sump pump died and the basement had water in it. Uh, not a flood in the sense that we didn't lose anything. But the carpet padding all had to be torn out, and now I can't get my carpet uh, relayed um, with new padding or restretched or anything until after all of this lockdown business. So, my cross stitch stash, while not lost, is in huge disarray. Uh, I just went down there to bring up my stash binders and. I couldn't even find two of the binders. It's all in a jumbled Tetris mess. So um, maybe I'll sneak a little video onto the end of my current basement situation. I'm still planning on participating in Mania. I'm going to pull the 20 starts. I'm going to try to sift through the mess of my basement to kit everything up. Um, it's just going to be a mess, but I, I need some new starts. I need something happy to focus on. So my original thought was to do this tranquil stitcher style and do a stash dive. Um, Cheryl had actually pulled from different sections of her stash cabinet, um, and pulled small sections and had to pick from that small section. What I'm going to do is go through my binders. Now again, this is not all of my stash. Small charts are not in here. Um, like the, the Biscornus from Tiny Modernist and you know the small um, CCN and LHN charts. Um, they're not in here. So I may go through those as well. But for right now, I'm just going to go through my binders and pull some stuff out. I also do not have my market stash yet. So once I get my market stash, I did just pay the invoice from Marie at Just Eat Add Needles. So once that is here, I may do some swapping around. But my original thought was to go through my binders and pull one chart from every letter of the alphabet minus, you know, maybe some weirdo letters like Q. I probably don't have anything that uh, starts with a Q. And I was going to go by designer name or designer uh, chart company. So... Let's get started. Letter A. I do have this Anna Lee Weight Designs. I'm going to try to show it in the camera best I can. This is cute. 79 by 112, so it's not that bad. It does use all sample, uh, general art sampler threads. It has the DMC listed. I could easily convert it just grabbing from my bin of blue hand dyed floss. I don't think I'm feeling that one though. I, act I actually think I'm leaning towards this um, Jolly Jack. Here's another Anna Lee Waite Blooms and Butterflies. Annie B's Folk Art. That's cute. Oh, there's the Annie, Annie B's Give Thanks. Hmm. Artful Offerings. And that's it for A's. This calls for all week's dye works, but I can easily swap those out. I think I am going to do this. I think I'm going to pull this for the letter A. Again, going by designer or company. All through the night. Jelly Jack. So there's one. Let's move on to B's. You may see uh, some charts in some places. I'm going to do my best not to show them. But with the angle of this camera and flipping through pages, uh, good luck actually trying to see anything. 
Barbara Anna. Christmas is coming. Flowers of the sea. I'm trying to adjust this so you might be able to see it better. Yeah, sorry guys. You're just going to see this page. Um, here's another Christmas one. I really love this hummingbird fab. I think it's mostly the colors that draw me in. October 31st over here. Spooky tree. Spreading joy. Witch house. So cute. I have quite a few Barbara Anna started, so I don't think I'm going to start any of those. Halloween stocking. This was gifted to me. A couple Bella Filipina smaller mermaids. Bent Creek. Autumn arches. I think I'm going to try mostly for smalls too. I already have one Halloween. Find your way to love. That would be cute. It's a possibility, I guess. Sweet Land of Liberty. Activity row. That was a cute release from this year. Smiling, smiling back, Jack. Uber Jack. I don't think I'll ever stitch that. I don't know. Blackberry Lane. I absolutely love this piece. It's not going to be a start for Mania. It's just too big, but. Blackberry Lane Designs, The Nativity Story. It's a square table topper. Beautiful. <clears throat> Who's a Scared? And Winter Snow Owl. You know what? This might be my the Easter Parade. Or there's Pumpkin Farm. Black Swan, Christmas Guardian. A couple more Black Swan. <clears throat> Blue Ribbon Designs. I think most of these I would stitch as individual um, pieces. I don't think I would stitch them as a big sampler. Binder. Next binder has right. so we've got Brenda Gervais. Here a peep, there a peep. I really want to do this this witch from the time for Halloween. Britter cup. I bet I'm going to pick a Britter cup. Because they're just so stinking cute. So I've already, this is January, February. I've already done March and April. So we've got May and June, July and August. I think I'm missing September and October. I am. Um, might have to try to find September and October. This is cute with the little cat and the flowers. There's some patriotic. Oh, here's one with a rabbit. That's Eastery. I could do that. Mm. 
that's a really Eastery one. I love, I love these holiday ones too. Oh, maybe I'll do this. I have this chart promised to somebody because of this pattern. The magic of the holidays. It's got the bird. Mm, some more Christmas. Christmas ornaments. More Christmas ornaments. I love that poinsettia. Haunt the night away. Oh, you know what? Somebody was just asking me about this pattern, too. I want to do the fox. Calls for Genoa art. But again, with so few colors, I could easily swap that out. Let's see if I can get this back in here. Oh, it's going to be a struggle, is it? It would appear it is. Butter, butternut road. Oh, and then we get into C's. So let's go back. I have this as well. This is a B, bygone stitches, but there's no way I'm starting that anytime soon. This is harder than I thought it would be. This other chart in here is it's covered up. Oh, it's a little cat with yarn and mice. colors like I said I can easily substitute anything I think I'm gonna do this bird but I don't think I'm gonna stitch the magic of the holidays I think I'm just gonna do the bird and maybe put the year in there or something other Christmas ones are.
Yep, I'm gonna do the bird. So, Britter Cup designs. Celebrate the holidays. So, let's get into C. Alright. I better pick up that other chart before a child comes home and steps on it. Brian took them to the walking park. Alright. Cat's Whiskers. Cedar Hill. It is really pretty. Cherry Lane Designs. Cherrywood Studios. This was Cherrywood and Ink Circles, a collaboration. Cherrywood. <clears throat> Collection, tra-la-la. This was from Color and Cotton. Cottage Garden Samplings. Oh, the Songbirds Garden Series. These were all so gorgeous. I swear, every month got prettier and prettier. This is pretty. I think these are pretty big, actually. I think they're bigger than I initially thought they were. 159 by 159 on 36 count fabric. Oh, I have the witch board. I've had that for a while. Country Cottage. Be thankful. Dear Kitty Kitty. Pumpkin Cottage, Silent Night, Cricut Collection, I don't feel like doing any of those big ones. <laughs> so I bought this because I got it at Retreat a couple years ago and when I was shopping <laughs> okay so this hand just looks like, like kind of creepy and I, I mean I know it's away in a manger okay I still have an idea to scrap the bird and like turn this into a headstone and make this like a zombie pattern <laughs> That's not happening today or anytime soon. Love Michigan. Wife, mom, boss. Oh, that's it for C's. All right, so let's go back here. I gotta pick something. What are these charted with? Weeks. I don't, I want to do these, I want to do uh, Mania without having to purchase a whole bunch of threads. And I want to try to get some of these smaller patterns done and out of my stash. This is so cute though, this mouse. 165 by 73. Gentle art. There's only five colors? Huh. Sixty-seven by one hundred two. Present colors, only four colors. I don't 
have the buttons for that though. Feet or weights. Oh, hearts come home for Christmas. 125 by 74. is a lot of black. Man. I think I'm going to do this one. Cherry wood. Hmm. Collaborative bonus to Boultimore. couldn't get enough of a good thing, use this extra block to make an ornament using your favorite finishing technique or incorporate it with the four companion blocks in Baltimore. I might have to look up those other blocks. Hey, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Let's hold off on the letter C because I know I have the small, you know, my, my small charts. I might have um, a Country Cottage uh, Needleworks um, ornament in there that I want to do. Okay, so now we're going to get into D. Debbie Mom. Designs by Lisa. Dragon Dreams. Black Rick Dragon. Maybe I'll start one of these dragons. Stormbringer. Drum Thread. Oh, this has the floss and everything. What is this? Halloween screen. One might do this one. 49 by 72. On 32 count linen. Dinky dyes, hand dyed silk. Mill Hill Petite. Shoot. I think we're going to do this one. I just got to pull some fabric and it looks like I took it out of the bag so we'll take that whole sheet out. We'll flip through here still though. Some more drawn thread and a Halloween jumble in there. Oh man the Halloween jumble has all the thread too. Hmm. 
Here's the silk thread pack. Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with that one. Alright. Done with the second binder. I think I'm missing another binder. Nope, I'm not. Okay. Um, that was D. So now we're on E. Ah, I have them in here by the designer's name. That's why it's in here like this. So here's two that I have. I have Mulan and Merida. Two of my favorite princesses. These would be quick, 60 by 59. The baby princess, those are quick. This is not as quick. Anna and Sven, here's another prince, baby princess. Rapunzel. Ellery's favorite is Rapunzel. Cinderella. And then, of course, Elsa and Olaf. Erica Michaels. Maybe I'll start another berry. So, here's the Eden berry. Fall bounty berry. Honey berry. Jingle berry. Lucky berry. Mistletoe Kisses. Peacock Party. Those colors are gorgeous. Scary Berry. It's a possibility. Star of Wonder. St. Nick's Berry. Sweet Berry. Woodland berry. Where's my Christmas berry? That pattern must be in a stack that hasn't gotten put away yet. uses Weeks Dye Works, but again, I have so much I can just pull from because it shows one, two, three, four, five, six colors, and I can see one, two, three, four, five. I think I can see all six colors in the picture, so I could just pull some. Berry. All right, on to F. So this was a Fiberlicious, Filigram, Fireside Originals, Foxwood Crossings, Frony Ritter Designs. All I've got for F. Hmm. Maybe I should do this fiberlicious freebie, hey? was a freebie from a retreat that I went to. 
was done exclusively for the retreat. Six by five point nine inches. It doesn't have like a stitch count. Eighty three by eighty three by eighty four. And it came with this cotton, Samantha Haze. Purples, gray. I don't think I'm going to use this floss for this heart. I think I'm going to pick more of a Valentine's color. Um, so I can use it as a Valentine's decoration. I'll, I'll pick something from my stash, but I'm going to do that chart. So now we are into G. Glenda in place. I'm not starting one of those. We're just going to skip G. H. Here's some hands-on design. Oh, I think it's time to start the hands-on design flamingos. That was an easy, easy one. I might actually order the floss for those two. So there's H. We'll flip through these. Maybe I'll grab another H since I didn't have a G. Hillside samplings. Insight. That turkey is kind of cute. Charmed gobble. It comes with the charm. Homespun elegance. More homespun. More homespun. God, that surprises me. I'm not a primitive stitcher generally. No, nah, no more H's. I, let's see, this is an, an imaginating. Nah. Ink circles. Red's treehouse. Gloom and Doom. She's Gloom and Doom. That's um, accurate for this special time we're living in right now, huh? So that's it for eyes. And we're going to skip over eyes for now because I only had those few. J. Janelle Marie Designs. This is super pretty. But this is all um, special floss. I, I mean, I'd have to order a lot, so we're not going to do that right now. Um, one card each of fibers listed. Gold Rush, Gold Tiara, White Pearl Splendor in a whole bunch of colors. So, not doing that. Autumn, Jeanette Crew Designs. Baby Flake. It's really pretty. Jeanette Douglas. Winter Stitches. Just Nan. Yeah, that's all I have for Jays. I think I have some more in my stash downstairs, so we're going to hold off on J's, too. I know I have a lot of Just Nan downstairs. Cooler designs. Beautiful. Love that. That was the only K. Lavender and Lace. Nina Lawson, Lindy Stitches. Oh, there was another H. 
hand blessings. I have some other hand blessings already kitted up I could use. You know what? I have so many Lizzie Cates downstairs, so I'll probably end up pulling a Lizzie Kate for L. Let's move on to the next binder. Oh crap, I just realized where my God, I just realized where my stuff was in the basement though, and I don't know if I can get to it. The alphabet thing might be going out the window. Here's a my big toe. Little dove designs. Cinderella. Little house needleworks. All dialed up. Nice Easter one. Little red bird. Here's a bunch of my Lizzie Cates. Minus the small ones that are in the basement. Mother, come with thankful hearts, dear Santa. Another Halloween. Mothers. Scaredy cats. This was a mystery sampler one. Lone Elm Lane. Ground. One eleven by forty, and it's all well. Nope, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four DMC, two weeks, two gentle arts, and two classic color works. I don't think I want to do that much converting. Okay, I am going to pick one of Missy Misty's uh, designs because I have not stitched any of hers yet. So let's choose a luminous fiber arts. I think I want to do a Cardinal's Carol, or do I want to do So Tweet? Ooh. I think I want to do a Cardinal's Carol. <sighs> Lots of DMC. I might just do it all in DMC. Okay. M. Madame Chantilly. That's super cute. Madame Le Fay. Give thanks. <sighs> Christmas at the Beach Triptych. It's got the flamingo. I think she's got this charted in, I don't know, is this charted in Dinky Dies? Let me check. Is charted in DMC. I think I'm going to start that. Hmm. 
I'm gonna have to decide how I want to do it. I don't think I want to do it um, on the sleds. There's a whole lot of background stitching. Yikes. I think I'm gonna see what I can find in my stash that looks like a sandy beach and avoid all of this stitching and just do the palm tree, the water, the boat, you know, everything else. And then I gotta figure out how I wanna stitch it maybe on one piece, but leave a couple spaces in between each one. I don't know. Oh, you know what, I lied. I have all three of Karen's new makeup series on their way from market. I'm gonna start one of those. That's what I'm going to do. Those should be here soon. N. Needle bling designs. Another needle bling. Oh, I love this. Absolutely love this. And this. Which one do I want to start? One, two, three, four. Only five DMC colors. Hmm. Only four in this one. Does it have stitch count? 97 by 82, 58 by 99. I think I'm going to do this one. Oop, there's a glare. There we go. Oh, Owl Forest Embroidery. I really am considering jumping on their website and getting the PDF of the new Hummingbird sampler that they released. P... for Easter. Pine Mountain. Plum Pudding Needle Art Fall Fling. 57 by 57. Plum Street Samplers. Oh, the fox view. Too cute. Goodbye fall. Hello fall. Hello spring. Hello summer. Hello, winter. 
of the colors in all of those. I have all of the Noah's Ark ornaments, but I'm not going to start any of those because I don't know how I'm doing it yet. And I did just order the new one that released at Market. I think I'm going to do them all going down in a runner, um, in a bell pull style. Jack's Sweet Shop, the Birthday Tart, Tired Trio. Those slots are adorable. Toil and Trouble. And then I also have Salem Sisters 2 and Salem Sisters um, 3. And I have already stitched the first one. Two more binders. Prairie Grove Peddler. Very schooler. This was a random kit pattern that I got somewhere. Hmm. That was all my peas, huh? No. We might not be doing the alphabet thing. Raise the Roof, I have Sam Socks and Witchy Washy, Rosewood Manor, Rovaris, These are all of my Secus and Secus or Secus and Co. Um, all of my hearts. I have a lot of them. I just finished the, flam the Flamingo Heart. So there's Cat Lovers, Christmas, Fall, Halloween. Hmm. Um, these are just a couple of random patterns, not hearts. There's another heart, patriotic heart, Santa Claus heart, snowman heart, spring. I have a couple more of the heart patterns already kitted up in my cabinet downstairs, so I might have to try to find one of those. Um, these do use 10 count Tula and um, a lot of Karen watercolors and pearl cotton, number five, pearl cotton. So they are pricier to kit up and I can't just run to an LS right now. Oh, excuse me. Shannon Christine. Romantic Rose, that's so pretty. Woodland Fox. I have a lot of her patterns in PDF form too. Could always pull one of those. Shepherd's Blush. Easter Parade. Flag. Leaf. This is October Comes.
Those are only 40 by 40. Hmm. And spooky notes. All right, on to the last binder. Man, somebody's got to carry these all back downstairs after this. Silver Creek samplers. If I ever stitch this, it'll be for a girlfriend of mine. This love, love sampler would be really pretty. This one's so cool, but it's so big. I pre-ordered a couple of market releases from Silver Creek Samplers, too. Sisters and best friends. Soda stitch. A couple of biscoinos. I could do this butterfly biscoino. Fair, fairy tale land one and two. I could always just pull a couple elements from there. Mini princesses, rose fairy, sewing cats, snow queen, stitchy kitty. I think I'm going to do one of these. So I have Christmas kitty moon, Easter kitty moon. And Halloween Kitty Moon. Oh, and Valentine Kitty Moon. These look like they use Krynik, and I don't have a huge Krynik stash. Some Stony Creek. Works. Sue Hillis. This one doesn't have a stitch count, but that's okay, it's small. I just really liked that pumpkin.
So I'm planning on doing this as my wedding sampler. Um, but I want to color match to our wedding colors and I just haven't done it yet. Ooh, I should start a telling um, emblem. Um, tell an emblem. I should start one of these. I should start my cardinal because I think Carrie and I are going to switch when we're done. And it is charted for DMC, so that is perfect. Tiny Modernist. This is the whole Sleepy Hollow series. Turquoise Graphics and Designs. Ursula Michael. Veil's Stuff. Vintage Needle Arts. I love this. Victoria Sampler. I wonder what this is charted in. Just for fun. Holy crap. It's all blended floss. Um, one strand each, gentle art and weeks. One strand each, weeks and weeks. One strand each, gentle art and weeks. Yeah, uh, that's not happening. But I could easily just pull my own floss. Yes. God, that is like a lot of colors too. I can find something highly variegated. That's a lot of searching in my messed up basement right now. Maxim Moon Designs, Witch's Garden, this is so cute. Witch's Garden. Sampler Thread, it's got the DMC Alternative. Man, there's quite a few colors in here. Whispered by the wind, work basket. That is everything. All right, so let's count what I did pull. We got one, actually, let's do it this way. Push this out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, so that actually works pretty well. So that's ten out of twenty. Um, like I said, my pre-order from Market is coming. Um, and I ordered. Well, I can't find the invoice now. Um, but I ordered 
quite a bit. So I've got quite a bit of those patterns coming. Um, I wouldn't mind starting a couple of bigger pieces, but I want to go through stuff that's not that I never actually got put in my binders. And then I've got those small ones too. If I can get into the storage room. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I have half. I have half of my um, Mania Starts. And I think it's a good variety. Halloween, Christmas, Halloween, summer, I guess, for the Peacock Party, Valentine's, summer for my flamingos, Christmas. This will end up being an all the time, like I'll probably frame that and hang it in my bedroom or something. Fall, Christmas. I think I did a decent job getting a variety in there. So there are 10 starts. Um, I'm going to go do a quick tour of my basement for you. And sometime in the next week or so, I will try to dig out some more stash to do another kind of stash dive slash stash show slash pick my mania starts. Hope you guys are all having a great weekend. Um, hopefully you're getting some sunshine like we have here because it makes a world of difference for the mood, I promise. Have a good one. Okay, this is what I'm working with coming down into my basement. So, stairs and get down to my basement and to walk down that last step without killing myself. You can see where we've got see some uh, drywall cut away to test for moisture. Thankfully, our literal cedar closet did not get wet. This is my basement. Yeah. <laughs> so we, yep, there's my Carpet ripped up, doors off hinges, furniture tetris together. This is where most of the, a lot of the kids' stuff was. There's my bookshelf that had all of my stitching stuff on it. And here is the rest of my stitching stuff and the TV and all of the desks. I mean, it's a disaster. We can't get to anything. <laughs> oh, there's my fabric bins. You can see where all of my stash slash stitching area used to be one lone picture hanging on the wall this is the only area in the basement we have cleared for the kids to run around when the weather is not great and we come through here trying not to trip on all this stuff there's another angle. And here is, find the light switch, the rest of my stash. Um, quite literally, that's what you open that door into. That is my cabinet. Oh, fantastic. The cabinet doors are facing the shelving unit. Like, I, I can't get into the rest of my stash. But, nothing was damaged. So, 
I will see what I can find, I guess, in piles over here. There's some magazines I can get to. Um, I can possibly get to kits somewhere. Like I said, I'm still missing two binders. I don't know where my Mira or Nora binders are. This is just all thrown in here. It really just kind of makes me sick. I know none of it's damaged, but I, I just... Ugh. I can't. So, now you can see what I'm dealing with. And, shit, maybe Mania will just be 10 starts. Hope you're having a good weekend.